There's also an awful lot of science that makes the world a better place, helps us understand our place in the universe, but doesn't necessarily yield a product that you can sell at a profit, at least not in the next few weeks or months or years. So that's where the public funding is so important, that it's complementary to the private sector. This isn't an argument against the private sector. It's an argument for the fact that there are just many things that the private sector doesn't doesn't provide adequately. I mean, most recent book, The Big Myth, is all about this, that the private sector is very effective at doing certain kinds of things, but completely ineffective at doing other kinds of things. And so that's why you need to have both. And the other thing that's really important about the, the public sector is the way it's able to build capacity. So when we invest in science education, when we invest in universities, when we pay for postgraduate students and postdocs and assistant professors, when we pay their salaries, we're building scientific capacity and scientific infrastructure. You know, if you think about the COVID pandemic, if we had decided, if we didn't have the whole infrastructure of science and decided, oh, we have to only now train microbiologists and train virologists and train immunologists, that would have been a completely hopeless project.